Hi there, my name is Dave Champion and I'm the Technical Product Manager at Wellington. I've been responsible for the past six or seven years for the development of the Wellington Connect IoT solutions and today I'd like to present to you the latest in our product range, the Connect Monitor. The Connect Monitor is designed for both retrofit and new build applications. It has a five year battery life and is compatible with all of our existing Connect systems such as the Connect Track, which is used for data collection from mobile phones, the Connect Network, which is an always-on gateway designed for always-on data collection, and the Connect Field, which is designed for in-field technician use to be able to connect to it for diagnostics in situations. Connect Monitor, once installed, will record temperature information for the purposes of monitoring product quality, servicing, and also for HACCP logging which is required for food safety implications. These can then be viewed through the Connect Insights application. Depending on installation location, the monitor will also record door openings for the purposes of sales insight generation, as well as the status of the cooler, such as standby mode or normal mode, and also the status of the store, such as open or closed. Because the monitor has a Bluetooth transmitter in it, the location of any device it is connected to can be tracked through our system for the purposes of finding lost devices or auditing to ensure that your assets are in the location in which you actually think they are. The Bluetooth transmitter also can be configured to support both iBeacon and Eddystone for the purposes of engaging with customers through third-party consumer applications. Every Connect monitor is supplied with an accessory pack, which includes an alcohol wipe and two screws. The alcohol wipe is used to clean the surface that the monitor will be attached to. On the back of the monitor, there are two sticky pads. You can peel the, when you peel the paper off the sticky pad, that can then be placed onto the cleaned surface. In addition to this, there are two screw holes on the monitor. And for some applications and some surfaces, it may be preferable to actually additionally screw the monitor to that surface, at which point the screws can be placed in the monitor and screwed through the sticky pad into the surface that the monitor has been stuck to. Now I'll demonstrate how to do an installation. For this particular fridge, the air inlet for the evaporator is at the top. So we want to be mounting it between the top shelf and the inlet for the evaporator. It's also beneficial to mount it on the hinge side so it is less intrusive. Therefore, we'll be mounting the, the monitor just here. So first of all, we take our alcohol wipe and we open this. And we wipe down the surface that we're planning on installing. And then we give it a few seconds to actually for the alcohol to evaporate. Afterwards we then have to then install the monitor. The connect monitor has two sides. One side has the screw holes and no sticker and the other side has no screw holes and a sticker. The sticker should always be mounted facing away from the front of the cooler which means that the side with the screw holes and no sticker is always facing outwards. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mount this and we're going to remove the sticky pads so it sticks to the side of the cooler. Now it's important how deep into the cooler it is mounted. Uh, the front of the monitor here must be within seven centimeters of the front edge of the cooler. So this face surface here. So we're gonna mount it as far as forward as possible here and press firmly. So to ensure 100% solid fixing and that the monitor can never actually fall off, it may be useful to use the self-tapping screws. So to use the self-tapping screws, we just generally use a drill, place it through the hole there, and we can drill in. Now that the Connect monitor has been installed in the fridge, we now have to do a, just a small amount of setup so that it will connect to the database that the monitor is to be attached to. So the monitor, when it ships, doesn't have Bluetooth turned on, and so therefore you need an NFC activated phone to initiate the Bluetooth. This can be done through the Connect Field app. From the Connect screen, we just select NFC, 
and then hold it against the monitor. It's now connecting to that device and will have activated Bluetooth and Bluetooth will stay on permanently. It shows on the phone that the manufacturer hasn't been set so I simply go to the setup page and I can select a manufacturer and that says success. I can then select the owner and the brand and press set. So that is now configured in the same way as the SCS Connect to our database, to the database. I can then go ahead and then enter an asset ID so that it has a unique identifier in our system so that we know which monitor this is when we look at it in Connect Insights. In this instance, I'm going to type Demo Cooler and click Save. We can then add additional information if we require, such as the model. So I can edit here, select a model, and then a manufacturer serial number, which maybe is 12345. This information is now saved inside the monitor, and anybody who comes along will see the monitor in future. Now that the Connect monitor has been fully installed in and we've done the setup, we're just going to validate that the sensor readings are correct. When I navigate to the home screen, as you can see, the temperature that is shown on the field app matches the temperature at the top of the cabinet. The other thing that we then want to validate is the door openings are working correctly. So if you see the door opening count in the field app, if I open the door and then close it, we can see that the count is incremented by one. So that's showing that we're detecting door openings. So now the monitor has been set up and we've shown that it's correctly um, collecting temperature data and door opening data. And we can happily walk away knowing that we've done a good job.